Action! <laughs> between kind of the making of 19 and the touring of 19 as well and then in the bit of downtime that I had I started realizing my own flaws and my own disappointments and, and I started regretting a lot of stuff and when I was 18 19 and doing the first record I didn't regret anything Do you know what I mean I was very much a teenager and thought I knew it all and thought there was nothing else I could ever learn and um yeah, but I think that was because the intensity of this relation, of my, my last relationship that the record's about, that made me more aware of them things. So, yeah, I, I used to have to lock myself in my house, get pretty drunk, write a drunk diary, because that's the only time I can ever admit things to myself. A drunk tongue is an honest one, in my opinion. And then the next morning, I'd read it through with an awful hangover and in the cold light of day, and, you know, and, and have to sort of absorb my own feelings about myself and um, I was a bit scared that I wouldn't be able to be articulate enough with this record because of them new revelations but I was um, agile when it came to realising them things about myself I suppose but um, I mean absolutely I was, I was really um, it's quite an awakening album self-awakening yeah it's out of my system once the record's done um, and it's that kind of thing of sort of stepping away and, and kind of taking a back seat a little bit and, and revisiting it live when I want to. You know, like I was saying, some songs would be too hard to sing. Um, but yeah, it's like cheap therapy. It's brilliant, you know, and it's... Um, and then it's, it's, it belongs to whoever else, hopefully, would, would, that record would help, give hope to. I think definitely blues. Um, which is something I kind of pursued a little bit on this and kind of, yeah, bluesy soul. Um, I got really, well, I was exposed here because um, I was touring for so long to a lot of country and rockabilly and bluegrass and stuff like that. So I think um, I'm never going to make a country record because I don't think I have the right voice for it, but the melodies and the kind of fighting talk and to the point that I find in a, in a lot of American styles of music is definitely something that I'm going to be pursuing heavily from now on. You know, I really want to go and spend some time in Nashville or Austin and, and learn about it. You know, I feel like a four-year-old in a candy shop who's, like, discovering sweets again, do you know what I mean? Like, every day is pretty amazing when it comes to new artists. The singers that I listen to who inspire me are, like, all-time greats and legends, so I don't even consider myself a singer when my interpretation of a singer is Etta James and Aretha Franklin and Billie Holiday, do you know what I mean? So I don't really rate my voice in that sense. And um, I, this literally all fell into my lap, I swear to God, yeah. I was always singing and I just, you know, I, I always knew I'd be involved in music, but I thought it would be like I'd be a, reg like a receptionist or something or work in a shop and then in my, in my off days go and play a little acoustic shows for my family and friends or whatever. I never, ever thought I didn't even bother to dream about being, you know, a professional singer because everyone I know has got dreams and none of theirs has come true, so why the hell would mine ever come true? So this fell into my lap, I swear to God, I wasn't that. Like, I didn't go and hand my demos in anywhere. I didn't even know where any record companies were. Um, so I, I, it's, I, nothing's ever sunk in, so, like, you know, I don't really remember very much. It's just quite, like, out-of-body experience. It's just a bit bizarre. maybe a Martin Scorsese film. I don't know if I'm kind of trained enough to maybe be able to offer something that good for one of his movies. Um, I really wanted to have the soundtrack for Love and Other Drugs, that Jake Gyllenhaal and Anne Hathaway um, film. And I was in for a good shot, but I submitted the wrong song. But that's my kind of movie, I love that kind of thing. So I would have loved that, but next time. <laughs>